Okay, hi, I'm Mark Voss. I'm the Director of Engineering at Emerald International. And today we're getting ready to skate the um, cryostat out of the building. Um, we're checking all the measurements to make sure that uh, we have clearance for the dongle to make through the mail slot. And we're also getting the track perfectly level to meet our uh, deflection criteria. One of the big challenges of this project is to keep the rings from deflecting. And in this case, we're making sure the track's perfectly level. And we have five skates on one side um, on the heavy side of the cryostat and four skates on the other side. So we have a lot of uh, redundancy built into this system to make sure that we're meeting our criteria for a uh, minimal amount of deflection on, on our move. So today's a pretty big day. We're going to get this out of the building and get it ready for um, lifting it to the transporter. This building has a removable slot in the back. So uh, right now the tracks go out approximately 50 feet past the slot so that we can skate the cryostat out into the uh, parking lot in the back. Once it's out, then we're going to rotate the cryostat about oh, 10 degrees so we can line it up straight with the transporter and get the CG located in the center. Then we're going to install the beams that are going to go underneath because we need to provide some clearance for the dongle on top of the, the transporter. Once the beams and everything are installed, we're going to jack the cryostat up approximately another four and a half feet so that we can drive the transporter underneath. And then the transporter is a hydraulic platform transporter so we can engage the hydraulics and at that point we'll have the cryostat on top of the transporter and we're ready to go. I'm Terry Emmert with Emmert International and today we moved uh, the cryostat from the G-2 building out to the main gate here at Brookhaven National Laboratory. Today we had our prime mover, it's a truck pulling it in the front, uh, pull our specially designed eight axle trailer that has 64 wheels and is 18 foot wide and about 100 feet long. Uh, we went down a couple of the main roads through Brookhaven, uh, a lot of trees, lined roads, and um, just kind of moved it at walking speed today and got it up to a staging area where Sunday night we'll be moving it down William Floyd Parkway to transload it onto the barge. I'll tell you, there's a lot of meetings uh, to talk about what we did today, and that six months of planning and preparation really paid off. I mean, it just went as planned. Everybody knew their positions and what they had to do, and it went very well. Here we go, Fermilab. Get it onto the barge, and we'll see you in Chicago.